Chinese and American publishers have been suffering from the tech revolution. About half of U.S. readers under the age of 30 have read an e-book in the past 12 months. In a study from the Open Book Reader Survey from 2013, 62% of all readers preferred printed books, while 38% preferred e-books. While a survey last year from the Pew Center for Research showed that 69% of adults read printed books, while 28% read e-books, with the rest listening to audiobooks. Book Expo America 2014. The largest annual industry trade fair in the U.S. took place near the end of May in New York and featured more than a dozen Chinese publishers who showed up to promote Chinese books and Chinese culture. Both China and America are facing the problem of younger readers who grew up in the age of technology and read e-books, many of which are counterfeit on their phones and computers. Assistant General Manager of China Universal Press and Publication Company says that because English and Chinese are two of the most widely spoken languages in the world, the two countries should work together to improve the market. ICN News, Sarah Gong, San Francisco, report. On June third evening, the delegation of seventeen people of Association of Chinese Peaceful Reunification of the United States hosts the conclusion party for the visit to Hebei Province, China, in April two thousand fourteen. President Wu Youyi reported the achievement and said, "We'll do better to promote Chinese peaceful and reunification." Deputy Consul General Bi Gang thanks the members of the association and welcomed the delegation back with all the success. ICN News, San Francisco report.